Right, boys and girls, we are going to get straight into your session. So, based on what we did last week on support play, which I think everybody was here for, yeah? yeah. Everyone stand up, come and stand around the board. Right, so, building is when we're talking about possession. Our team's got possession of the ball and we are going to try and build. What are we building? Space. No, can't build Position. space. Build space isn't made of anything. Break. Build a break. Build a break? No. Sounds like a really crap game for your iPhone. Go on, build a break. What are we building? Come on, man. What, what's the An point attack. of football? Goal. An attack. We're building chances to score. score. We are building, what's it called when you've got the ball? Possession. possession. We're building possession. That's what we're building, okay? When we break, we are breaking possession. through. We are breaking forwards. We are breaking like a counter attack. We are trying to then take our scoring chance that we have built. You got okay. it? We're going to talk about build passes. So build passes are usually short passes. They are usually easy passes. It's to someone's feet, someone you can see, someone that's within reach, yeah? Usually they are to players that are quite close to you. So if I'm saying build, build, do I want everybody running away from the wall? No. We want people coming and helping, you got it? They are sometimes bounce passes. We'll talk about those later. They are usually safe passes, passes where the guy's not marked or he's probably not going to lose the ball with his first touch, yeah? And what we usually do is play them to people's feet, okay? Break passes, most of the time, are the complete opposite. So a break pass would be a long pass rather than a short one. It might be a riskier pass, but it's okay to play the risky pass that might get intercepted. Because if it doesn't get intercepted, what do you get? A chance on goal. Chance on goal, chance to score, yeah? So that's why we can do the riskier passes when we're breaking, but when we're building, we play the safe pass. You got it? To start with, we're just going to look at build play and how we do it. But to do that, the defensive team have got to try and stay nice and compact and force the other team to build. If you guys defend like absolute numpties over here, do they need to build or can they just break straight through? So force them into building. Everyone got that? Yeah. yeah? Jack, can you be the red keeper for me? I'll be the blue keeper. Emily, what mode are we in? Build mode, okay? We're, we've got the ball, so we're in build mode. They're in defensive mode. Look how high they're coming already. They're a bit keen. Let's play. Build, build, Frank. Build, good. Keep building. Keep building. Good, nice. Magnus here if you need it. Good possession. Sasha's managed to win it. Good girl. Well done. Good effort, Aggie. Well done. Good, Matty. Matty's thinking about breaking, maybe. Still a build on. Good, good, Frank. Good. Matty. Good, Matty. Nice idea with the through ball. It's okay. Tried to break, but it broke down. Okay, Blues, drop. Compact. Come back in. Red, show me you know how to build. Can you build? Oh, Aggie gave it away very quickly. Played a risky one. Play the safe passes. Good, Tom. Tom's on the break. Tom's on the break. Nice reverse. Good finish from Spencer. That was a very good break from Tom. Now, what type of passes did we say a build passage? Risky or safe? Safe. You tried to play a risky pass there, Aggie, and lost it. Luckily, you won it back. Try and play the safe ones until you get a chance to break. Let's play the safe one, Matty. Good, Frank. Keep the separation. Good. We'll keep building. Keep building. Amelie, yeah. good support. Good. Support, support, support. Finding time to break. Good effort. Sesha's on the break now. Sesha's tried it. Good effort. Play on. Build, Matty. Build, build, build. Calm. Good. Ooh, Sesha. That was fast. She's in Man City mode. Good. Magnus, excellent pass. Now what's it time to do? Good. Good. Matty, good decision. Ooh, Matty was caught in two minds there. Couldn't decide whether to build or break. Good cover, Frank. Good cover, Frank. Nice finish, Sesh. Well done. Right. Sesha twice has scored very quickly. Why didn't she build? Did she need to? No, so I'm not saying every time you get the ball, you've got to build. That'd be crazy. But what we don't do, Aggie, when the other team have dropped off, they're defending, they're letting us have it, we don't try and break through straight away, yeah? So we build when it's the right time. Matty, let's build. Emily, come and help, come and help. Create an angle. Can he find your feet? Can he find your feet? He wants to play to feet. Oh, we tried to break, we've lost it. So Magnus, you need people there coming to help you. Say, guys, come and help, come and help. Feet, feet, feet. Good. Build, Tom. Good. Build. Build your way out, Serge. Good. Build. Keep building. Keep building. Don't try and break if it's the wrong time. Well done. Good. Keep building, Tom. Keep building. Keep building. Might be a chance to break now. Blues were very high up. Blues, we might get caught here. We might get caught. 
Better, Frank. Good. Good. Keep building, Reds. This is good. Patient possession. I like it. Patient. It's patient. Good. Spencer's ready for it. Spencer's ready for it. Spencer, you ready to break here? Are you ready to break? Can we break now, Tom? Can we break? Nice effort. Good, Sesh. Go on. You found a way through now. You found a way through. She's found that break pass. That's excellent. Oh, unlucky. Good effort, Aggie. Call the ball. The red team there, how many passes did you play before you started to break? A lot. A lot. I lost count. It was, it was a heck of a lot. It was good. Now, there were a few times where maybe you could have actually gone for the break a bit sooner, but you didn't. You kept building. That's okay. Keep your eye out for those chances to break. But if there's no chance, and I'm looking at Amelie with two men on her, don't just go straight for the break when it's wasted, okay? Keep building until you get what's called a clear cut chance. If it's not clear, we keep building. You got it? Matty, play. Build with your teammates. Build. Frank, I'm here if you need it. Good. Yes, Magnus, good. Amelie, good. Off of your feet, Matt. Uh, Amelie, coming short. Off the feet. Good, Frank. Good. Now we might break. Frank, support him, support him, support him. He needs you. Good, good. Yes, build, break, shot. Good effort, corner ball. The sideways and the backwards passes have been excellent. You've used your keeper well, because the keeper's usually got the least energy pressure on them. Yeah, <laughs> call me fat. Anyway, yeah. so your keeper's usually got the least pressure on them. Or, or like a CDM or a centre back, people behind the ball, like we talked about in support play, they usually have the least pressure. They're the easiest ones to find. Bounce. The sideways passes have been good as well. The one we've not really looked at is the bounce. I know what they're I think I know. You think you know what it is? You think it, and so does Frankie. Can you two show us it? Can you show us a bounce pass? You right, Jack's got a ball. Show us a bounce pass. Everyone agree? Yeah. Thumbs up? Yeah, it's a bounce pass. Do you know what else it's called? Old school managers call it a pointless pass. Do you know they call it pointless? Because the ball goes back where it came from. It, you use it, to trick. it is almost a trick. It is too early, 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 early. It's, yeah, it's for that. So, if I play a pass in here, right, and the other team are being really deep and defensive, and the ball goes into his feet, then that guy might press, he might not. If I bounce it back, and bounce it back, and start playing these bounce passes, what do you think eventually these guys are going to do? Press. They get bored, don't they? I don't care how disciplined you are, your manager could be stood here, this is Big Fat Bob, so on the sideline, right, his big voice, going, don't press, don't press! Any kid watching that ball bounce around between these players back here is gonna start creeping. They might not run at it like a lunatic on a full press, but they're gonna get bored, they're gonna start coming for it. The reason that we do it is because they're trying to keep the gaps between them, what? Tight. Tight and small, Emily. So what are we trying to do? Expand. We are trying to make them expand. We're trying to get players around the ball and use these little bounce passes, these short passes, because eventually these guys are going to get stretched. And what happens when teams stretch? Space. Gaps get bigger and then we can break. That makes sense? Now I want to see how well you guys can bounce it. I want to see how well you can tease the other team out. You got it? Hi. Are we ready? Good. Matty, teaser in, teaser in, teaser in. Right in front of our own goal. We'll still bounce it. We'll still bounce it because we're brave. Good. 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 What's it time to do now, Blues? What do you reckon? Now it might be time to get out. Now it might be time to go. Yes. Yes, Magnus. Good, Aggie. Good, Spencer. Good bounce, Spencer. Excellent. Tom and Spencer. Yes. Brilliant. Aggie. Good, Aggie. Back post. Good idea. Oh, almost got the shot away. Oh, good effort, Ags. Amelie's on the break, she's on the break, she's on the break, she's going, she's going, she's going. Amelie, good effort. Not easy to break on your own, but it was the right time to try it. Good. Mags, if you need. Good. Where's the easy pass? Where's the easy pass? Where's the easy one? Can you find the easiest pass? Can you find the easy one? Good. Good, Matty. Good. Keep playing the easy ones. Keep. Now we go, now we go, now we go. We've taken Stacia out of the game. She's tired, she can't recover. Good, Matty. Good. Go on, Amelie, go on, Amelie. Good effort. Reds, break, break, break. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Matty, good block. <laughs> Reds, this is brilliant. Good effort. Amelie, I need help, I need help, I need help. Good, Mags, again, if you need. Go on, bit of pace on it. Good, it'll get there. Frank, good, bounce it out of there. Good, bounce it out of there. Magnus, go, Magnus, go, 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 go. Good, good. Might reverse it, Frank. Might find the through ball, might hit the shot. Great ball. 
Blues, good possession, good effort, keepers. Well done, Frank, pinched it. Good, 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 excellent, Blues. Guys, you just played bounce passes in their third. That was brilliant. Play from there. So we, I'll be honest guys, that is about as good as building has gone in one of my sessions for a long time. Two reasons, one is your capabilities with your feet. You're passing, you're receiving, you're turning, you're screening, all that stuff's been really, really good because you're very good players. But two is your mindset. Some kids go into a session like this and I don't care who they play for, how good they are, they go into it and go, oh, I know Ben said about building, but I really like scoring. It's really the best part of the game for me. So I'm just going to run forward and smash the ball at the crossbar as many times as I can, hope it goes in. Because you guys haven't had that silly mindset and you've gone, right, I'm going to do my best, regardless of what the opposition do, to just try and play these short bounce passes. It's worked really well. And I told you it would work, and it has, because both teams have had massive success where the other team just got drawn into the ball and you've gone bounce, bounce, and got out of there really easily. Do you see how you're almost like puppeteering the other team? You're like going, come on, come and get it. You remember I talked about a dog earlier, like with a toy? They can't resist. No kid is good enough or patient enough to just stand and watch. Plus, the manager's usually going to tell them what? What's, what's Fat Bob shouting now? Press! Press! Go get him! Press! It's the only word he knows. He's press. And when he shouts that and he comes and presses, then these little bounce passes will beat that press over and over and over again because you're now so good at building. But when they press and we've been building really well, what do we do next? Break. Now we break, okay, so now we're going to focus more on the break. We have been breaking, it's, it's come up as an opportunity to do it, but now we're going to focus more on it. We talked about what kind of passes? Long. A little bit longer, maybe into space. Be careful, because as much as this pitch looks like it's quite big, it's not when you're playing forward passes. You play a pass, oh, a goal kick. Who's done one of them tonight? Played a through ball. Amelie's ran onto a couple down that left-hand side, didn't get there, because the pitch isn't that long. So when you are playing to space, doesn't mean we just whack it. It's not a smash. So pass the space, you got it? When we do break, keep your eye out for the switch. It's happened three or four times where I've heard Spencer out on this side, right? Get Bob out of there. We've heard Spencer on this side and he's been going switch, switch, switch. And when it goes to him, what should he do with his first touch? Right. Start the break, yeah, drive forward, try and get into that space as early as he can. Not get it under control and then get his head up and then turn and then start thinking about it. It's as the ball's on its way, I am breaking with my first touch, yeah? So anytime we play a switch, it is usually telling us that this side was no good, which means that side is probably what? Better. Wide open. Yeah, it's better, isn't it, over there? So look out for those switches. They will give us opportunities to break. Go on, Aggie. Go on, Aggie. Start again. Good. Good. Good, Serge. Back to building. Back to building. Back to build. Still building. Still building, Aggie. Good. Still building. Now we break. Now we break. Now we break. Oh, lucky Tom. Good effort. Build. Matty, build. 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 But keep your eye out. Oh, now he's breaking. Now he's breaking. The skill gave him the break there. Oh, and then he broke his legs. <laughs> you okay, Matty? Just fell over. Oh, good effort, Ags. Great block, Frank. Brave that. Aggie, switch on quick. Good. 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 Another diagonal through ball, Spencer. I knew I did something wrong. He was just being kind. He knew, he knew I was letting him score. Unlucky for um, Aggie, do you know what's really annoying? When someone doesn't score in that scenario, everyone goes, oh, and focuses on that. And they all forget how brilliant that was. The pass, the timing, the run, everything that you did there created a great chance. 99 times out of 100 he scores, but because he missed, don't let that take anything away from it, yeah? So in boxing, you've got your guard, yeah, which is your arm and your hands, and then you've got your attack, which is your hands. The same thing that you are trying to attack with, you are also asked to defend with, yeah? In football, it's very similar. The same players that you are challenged to attack with, you've also got to try and defend with, yeah? What I want you to think about here is, you know, in boxing, if the other person wasn't guarding, would you throw little tiny jabs or go for a knockout? Go for, go for the knockout, wouldn't you? You go for the biggest punch you can. So why do people ever bother jabbing? What are they trying to break through? Go. The guard. And you jab and you hit different parts of the body and you go with the left and you go with the right and you're trying to break their guard so that you can throw the what? The massive knockout. The, yeah, the, the big punch, the knockout punch. 
Now this is very similar because what we're trying to do here is we've got a team with their guard up. They are playing super defensive style of football. And what clever kids do is they jab. How do they jab? Short, sharp punches, yeah? What happens to the team's guard? Guard starts to what? Starts to open up, doesn't it? They start to press. They start to chase. They start to throw a few punches of their own. And then their guard's wide open. What can you hit them with? The knockout, which is the shot, the goal, the scoring opportunity. So what I want you guys thinking about is if the other team have got their guard up, there is a way to break it down. And it is not with knockout punches, like 30 yard screamers. It's by working the jab and working those little short passes and those little combinations, because that is what will get the other team to go, you know what? I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna drop my guard. I'm gonna to start to open a gap. In football, when a gap opens, we shoot through it. In boxing, when a gap opens, you punch through it, yeah? But it's the same essence. We are trying to open up that guard the best we can. You got it? Final part of this. We've done build until you can break. What happens when you break and they stop you? Build again. Build again. What's a better way of saying that? Rebuild. Rebuild, good word. So we rebuild. So we build until you can break or what? Re Build. What would a rebuild pass look like? Passing it back. Backwards usually, yeah. So let's give you the scenario. Reds have been building quite well, or maybe just gone straight to a break. But what we end up with is players doing this, and this, and this, and this. What's this guy now starting to think? Change. Direction. Change direction, change modes. I'm in break mode, but it's not gonna work. And there's too many players around me, and I'm not Neymar. I can't just rainbow flick everybody. So now we have to change into a what? Back to go build. How's he going to build? What does he need? Even if he turns, what does he need? He needs options. He needs support. He needs players to build with. You got it? So what I want you guys doing now is two sides of this. One side is if you start to break and it happened to Spencer and the Blues got a cross well, he needed to what? Rebuild. But Tom, the scientist, went... I know that he's running into trouble, so before he even decides to rebuild, I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna give him the option to. And as Spencer turned, Tom was already there waiting for him. Just going, yeah, I'm here. But if Tom didn't switch on, if Tom didn't see the danger and see that he was probably gonna turn, then he's got no one to build with. And then what happens? He gets mugged and they break, you got it. So that's why we've got to be really clever. We've got to see what our teammates are doing, see if they're about to turn, then offer him the pass and say, yeah, rebuild, rebuild, start again. You got it? If he doesn't do that, but you've offered yourself, you've still done the right thing, yeah? Sometimes players will surprise you. You'll fly in there, you'll go, Tom, rebuild. And I'm going, Tom, come on, start again, start again. And Tom goes, boom, smash one in the top corner. If he does, fair enough, but let's give him the option to rebuild if he needs to. Good, good, Tom, good, Tom. Spencer, the decision to rebuild there was brill. Good, good Tom, always supporting, always supporting Tom, that's excellent. Keep building, keep building. Tell them when to break, tell them when to break. This is good, this is good. Aggie, what should they do, what should they do? Break, 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 break. Unlucky. Aggie, great decision. Whether it worked or not, it's a good decision. Are you, are you guys, have you guys either done like entrance exams or like mocks for your sats and stuff? Right? X plus two equals seven. Right? It's worth two marks. Why is it worth two marks? I'll give you one mark for the right answer. What else will I give you a mark for? You're working out, right? Everyone remember that? Red team. Tonight, did you have long spells of possession with bounces and build up play? Yeah. And then break and not score? Yeah. Were you gutted when you didn't score? Yeah. Don't worry, you get a mark for working out. You use the right method, you get the mark. Some kids guess X plus three equals nine, uh, six. They got the right answer by complete fluke. They took a shot from 25 yards, complete fluke. Yes, they get a mark, 
Did they use the right method? No. Did they get anything for working out? No. no. You got it? So the point is with this, guys, is sometimes in these kind of sessions when you're playing against A, very good kids, B, players who are getting coached at the same time as you're trying to break through them, and C, playing against kids where their energy levels are very, very high. You can show all the right method and not quite get the goal. You don't quite get the right answer. But is it okay if you're using the right method and showing you're working out, yeah? If you get the right method and bang it in the back of the net, you get like the beautiful goal. The ones that Barcelona and Man City score. That's great. But what some teams do and what a lot of kids do is they just keep guessing. They just keep hitting shots, smashing the ball forward, hoping it goes in. And yeah, they might score a few goals. When they become adult footballers, do you know what they are? They are useless. They don't know how to do the working out. They don't know how to break a team down that defend really, really well. And their long ball style of football will work against the nine-year-old who's not very good at heading and don't usually play in defence. You think you do that against a 25-year-old centre-back? You think that works? No, absolutely not. So then what do you have to be able to do? Break or build? You've got to do both. You've got to be a good team at building. You've got to be the kid who's smart enough to build, use the right method, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll get some right answers as well. You'll get some goals. That makes sense to you all, yeah? I don't want you guys tonight to go home and think I built really well, but I never scored like you've done anything wrong. You've totally done the right thing and you could have got every single answer wrong, but if you work it out and your method was good, are we happy? Absolutely, yeah?